Have you ever pondered on the profound question, what exactly is the favor of God? It's a concept that has intrigued philosophers and theologians alike for centuries. Let us delve into this question, drawing insights from the Holy Quran, the sacred scripture of Islam. The Quran proclaims, your God is the one God. There is no God except him, the all beneficent, the all merciful. God's favor, according to the Quran, is not a fleeting sensation or a transient state. It is a perpetual blessing, a lifetime of divine grace. But how does one attain this favor? The Quran provides a clear answer. It says, O oh, you who believe, if you support God, he will support you and make your foothold firm. This verse from Surah Muhammad, the 47th chapter of the Quran, tells us that God's favor is conditional upon our obedience and dedication to his path. When we uphold his commands and strive in his way, we find favor in his sight. It is a divine equation. We do our part and God does his. Yet the path to God's favor is not always straightforward. Doubts may creep in, making us question the feasibility of our dreams and aspirations. In the face of such doubts, we must hold steadfast to our faith, remembering the promise of the Quran, obey God and the apostle, so that you may be granted his mercy. We must strive to put God first in our lives, not wavering in our faith when faced with trials or tribulations, as cautioned in Surah Al-Hajj, the 22nd chapter of the Quran. When we do this, God promises to shower his favor upon us. When doubts assail your mind, whispering, this is too good to be true, it's not going to happen, muster the courage to reply, I am grateful for your favor on my life, my children, my career, my future. I am your servant, and I know your favor is not temporary. It does not come and go. Thank you, God, for a lifetime of favor. Indeed, as the Quran reassures us in Surah An-Nur, the 24th chapter, all this is from God's favor upon you and his mercy, and God is compassionate, merciful. In summary, the favor of God, according to the Quran, is a lifetime of divine grace, contingent upon our obedience and commitment to his path. It is not a temporary state, but a perpetual blessing. And when doubts creep in, we must hold steadfast to our faith, remembering the promise of God's mercy and compassion. This is the essence of God's favor, a lifetime of divine grace, an enduring promise of support, and the reassurance of his mercy and compassion.